Canonical has announced the release of Ubuntu 25.10 Questing Quokka Beta, which brings several major updates across the desktop and system stack, setting the stage for the final release due on October 9th. The beta runs on the upcoming Linux kernel 6.17, which improves hardware support across Intel, AMD, ARM, and RISC-V platforms. Alongside kernel updates, users will find refreshed storage and file system support, including changes to BTRFS, F2FS, and Extension 4. On the desktop side, Ubuntu 25.10 adopts the brand new GNOME 49, which introduces refinements such as lock screen media controls, per monitor brightness sliders and quick settings, and smoother workflows across apps. Two key defaults also changed in this release. The long-standing eye of GNOME Image Viewer has been replaced by Loop, a modern Rust slash GTK4 based alternative, while Tixis replaces GNOME Terminal as the new default emulator. But what is more important, Wayland is now the only desktop session offered. The traditional Ubuntu on Zorg option has been removed, with legacy X11 applications continuing to work through X Wayland compatibility. On the security side, the installer now offers enhanced TPM-backed full-disk encryption. Improvements include entropy indicators for passphrase, pin support, and better handling of recovery keys, along with reminders about safeguarding them during firmware updates. For enterprise and managed deployments, this beta integrates more tightly with Microsoft Enter ID and provides installer support via landscape for auto-install workflows. Canonical also highlights progress toward RISC-V desktop readiness, with applications like Firefox and Thunderbird now functional on the architecture. Last but not least, developers will find updated toolchains, GCC 15.2, glibc 2.42, Python 3.13.7, Rust 1.85, OpenJDK 25, and Systemd 257.9. Additionally, Drakeit replaces AnyTramps tools as the default AnyTramps general.